So we have uh, here Professor Petrov. Uh, most of you know him. He's an invasive cardiologist and also his man of the year. And we have also uh, Dr. Stanimir Hasarjev, who's the leader of the National Patient Organization, very active on national but also on European level. So before we start this panel discussion, I would like to say something very important because most of you think this is just a festival. We are here to have fun, to hear some interesting things about digital transformation, about the future, and then to come back home and nothing. No, our idea here is a little bit different. And that's why we decided, again, the same people to be in front of you and to tell you what we did, what we have done in the last couple of months. And one of the things that we've done is this one here. This is the Digital Health and Innovation Cluster Bulgaria. Last year we were here just talking about the issues, how we see the philosophy of these things, but now we have the Digital Health and Innovation Cluster in Bulgaria. What is it? It's uh, an organization of different IT companies doing digital health solutions. We have also the patients, in, uh, uh, with the national patient organizations, and we have also Junior Achievement Bulgaria with uh, entrepreneurship education they are giving. And now we are having new and new members of this cluster. What is it for? This is the digital health ecosystem in Bulgaria. And this will be the topic now. Uh, and uh, I would like to start with the first question, maybe, maybe to you, Professor Petrov. What is it? What is a digital health ecosystem? How, how do you see it? Uh, it's uh, quite diff difficult to, to answer, especially in Bulgaria, because uh, we are a group, quite a higher group of enthusiasts, uh, that uh, together, together we, uh, we build the, 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 the cluster. Uh, that is in fact uh, unifying the efforts of uh, some uh, companies and uh, also specialists and uh, medical providers and doctors uh, and like uh, you mentioned uh, patients organization regarding big data gathering and uh, definitely extracting this, uh, this data in the interest of the patients in the healthcare system. Uh, in order to make uh, a real national e digital he uh, healthcare ecosystem, we need definitely the support of the institutions. And uh, we have discussed uh, since uh, several years that the local and particular platforms, uh, 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 we have to implement them into a national system based on these uh, successful platforms. So, uh, for example, with uh, uh, several companies as a medical facility, uh, my hospital, Ajibadem City Clinic, we have participated and we are participating in uh, several very interesting uh, uh, data projects uh, regarding uh, digital healthcare in oncology and cardiovascular disease. Uh, this is the skill line uh, project about the platform of, of oncology and uh, we are practically in a, uh, on the final step for the healthcare digital platform in cardiovascular disease. And uh, the results that uh, we achieved uh, are really impressive. And uh, we are uh, preparing now the, uh, the publication regarding uh, several very important topics. Uh, one of the, the, the topics is, uh, uh, is regarding heart failure. It's a, a global epidemic, uh, the heart failure, but also regarding acute coronary syndrome and uh, hypercholesterolemia. So all these uh, particular topics are very important for our society as one of the societies that is uh, the most damaged by the cardiovascular diseases. So this will help us uh, to extract the necessary conclusion and probably to convince more the institutions that we need the digital uh, ecosystem in order to improve, uh, to improve the healthcare. Okay, so we have uh, the healthcare professionals, we have uh, uh, the IT companies, we have the problems, we have the solutions coming. And uh, Stanimir? Well, <laughs> I have uh, good news and the bad news. <laughs> 
uh, digital ecosystem. We have the dig digital component there, it's obvious because something's happening. In order to become ecosystem, we need environment. So we need the players there and we need the system. So they work in systematic way, knowing where's their aim and uh, where, uh, what they're trying to achieve. So we are far away from really having decent digital ecosystem. But I think just because the system is missing <laughs> yet, but I think it's a very good step that already uh, the cluster that we created in the last year started giving some uh, really good results at the end. Because I can see the, 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 the participants in the cluster, uh, some of them are actually here in the room, different companies with different ideas, combining their knowledge with patients, with doctors, and not waiting for the government for the next 15 years to continue doing tenders that never happen at the end, but actually starting providing solutions that work. Solutions that work for the doctors, solutions that potentially might predict the risk for patients, for rehospitalization, for example, or which are the target uh, patients that you have to pay more attention, or solutions that help the patients to be more independent. So now we can see that this digital knowledge combined with the expertise of the different experts is starting to produce real products that soon will be hopefully um, uh, something that you can touch, feel, and be presented to the system holders, let's say, and hopefully one day the system would, uh, 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 would agree that we all have to create the system. But the system is still missing. Uh, I, have, I have some good news uh, from today, uh, together with the director of the cluster, Mira Ganova, she's here. Uh, we were invited by uh, the Council of Ministers, the direction for the funds. Uh, they invited us to discuss what are the needs. So, uh, which is interesting because now see now we see that there is some political will. We will see the next steps, but uh, it's there. So uh, we we need we need uh, we need uh, the state behind this. And uh, talking about uh, uh, the ecosystem, I, I think uh, we we are not missing the young people because now we are working in very close collaboration with the students, uh, the pharmacy students, the medical students. So we need them because this process of seeding, in fact, starts from, from the young people. We need these young people for the innovation that, that uh, we, are, we are bringing now. Uh, my second question, because we have only three questions, we won't bore, uh, oh. bore the audience with m too many questions. Uh, what is the progress according to you in the last year regarding the digital health ecosystem? What is the progress? The, the easiest way is to answer no progress. <laughs> but, but in fact, but in fact, it's not not exactly true. Uh, 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 thanks to to our efforts, uh, we have uh, some, uh, let's say, particular progress in several projects and uh, several platforms. Uh, probably you know, but uh, probably you not you uh, you don't know. Uh, one of the most uh, successful digital platform for physiology uh, parameter online uh, online mon monitoring is Bulgarian and uh, for example in uh, in my hospital we are building we are almost at the end to build a local hub uh, for digital telemonitoring of uh, uh, many physiologic parameters not only ECG but also arterial pressure saturation and so on so uh, 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 there are several projects with huge progress but uh, uh, as I mentioned already, and also uh, Dr. Hasarjev has mentioned, we need the system. So uh, we, we need uh, these uh, local and particular projects to be unified and uh, connected in a real system. For example, you, you know, uh, definitely you know the, the huge success of Estonia regarding not only the digital government, but also regarding the digital, digital healthcare system. Uh, so uh, we need that. So uh, uh, we need to push the institutions, 
the government, the ministries, not only one minister, minister of health, but also uh, different ministries, uh, to apply the digitalization on all level of our life, uh, social life, and also on all level of the healthcare system. Because uh, the benefits that uh, we can uh, expect from uh, this uh, implementation are huge, and they are involving not only patients, but also financial uh, problems, and also on a national level, we can expect uh, really a huge progress. I'll be a bit more optimistic <laughs> for the last year and what has changed. For the last year, I think what really is advanced is the fact that now many of the technologies are cheaper than before. And this is crucial if we want technologies to be available and to be accessible for those who need them. And when we are talking about healthcare, those who need them are patients. And patients and healthcare systems are always poor. So we have the technologies, we have the know-how, we have now the software behind that. So we know many of the processes that are needed in order the patients to, to, and outcomes to, to, to be better in the healthcare system. Now we have all key factors, this to become really uh, implemented widely in order to have real result also for budgets. So uh, for, for, for governmental budgets and to make real, uh, real change for those who need it. So having a beautiful jewelry somewhere on the shelf was something that we were discussing as far as I remember last year. Nice solutions, nice home automations, nice applications, nice databases and softwares, etc. But you need extremely sophisticated and expensive devices behind that. Nowadays, we can afford to have at a much lower cost and build on that and really implement it widely in more facilities like more hospitals, more homes, more patients can benefit of that. And I think this is the real change. And it's now the time to put the pressure on the governments to grab on that and really benefit of it. Because if countries as Bulgaria who are poor and don't have enough money to take care for patients, for mm, uh, prevention, for social care, etc., I think technologies might be really interesting solution, not so costly even. And how, how do you engage the key stakeholders in this ecosystem in order to bring these solutions to Probably the cluster is one of the of the ways. So uh, we have, let's say, we have proposals for solutions, we, but uh, the big change will happen at the moment when the institutions will ac accept these proposals for solutions. So this will be the real solution of the of all the system to become more digital and more healthcare uh, centric. And what about your colleagues, the cardiologists, for example? How cardiologists, uh, we are quite active. So, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, probably you know, uh, definitely you know, on in the European Society of Cardiology, there is a, a special uh, council on e-health cardiology. And uh, there are many, many of our colleagues, members of uh, e-health cardiology, and always we are participating in the congresses and so on. But in fact, uh, uh, we are uh, exposing the results of our local digi digital health projects. I'm uh, dreaming uh, for the moment in which we are going to expose the national digital health care project. Uh, and uh, definitely we are on the way of that. So. Uh, if we unify the uh, local projects in uh, in one one system, uh, one system for uh, there are some uh, platform or registries, uh, for example, for electrophysiology and pacemaker implantation, uh, a platform for uh, acute coronary syndrome, a platform for cardiac surgery. Uh, my dream is to, to unify these platforms in one global national platform and uh, it uh, to include the data from all the hospitals. Because otherwise, uh, uh, only part by part, 
it will be not completely real and it will be not uh, uh, totally in uh, the benefit, you know, uh, benefit the, the healthcare system. I also think that this is uh, one of the gaps, uh, you know, in, uh, in, uh, in this uh, progress because we need more and more healthcare uh, professionals to be involved in this discussion because it's, it's not just you, you know. We need more and more people to be involved in this discussion in order to, uh, to reach this, mm, let's say, national network and national level. I think actually what's needed, not, uh, we need more people. Uh, but we need those who are going to be the users of these technologies. And these usually are the healthcare providers, not necessarily the doctors, because I don't think a technology should put more burden on the doctor's daily duties. A technology should facilitate the doctor to have more time to spend with the patient rather than uh, making uh, his life even more sophisticated. So we have to think out of the box um, how to do these technologies to facilitate the lives of doctors, facilitate the lives of patients, which means that we also need to know every single patient and what are the unmet needs and what are those patient reported outcomes that really matter for them, which will make them use the technology, which will make them provide to you the data or to provide the feedback that we need in order to, mm, to be uh, uh, able to analyze. Back to your question about how we make sure that the policy makers would, uh, mm, uh, would get on board. This is a difficult question. Up to now, we have tried for ages to convince policy makers that they have to invest in, a healthcare, in, in, in digital health. For them, this is pay lots of money for something that we don't understand <laughs> or pay lots of money for something that we can earn some money or have the next apartment somewhere. This is, <laughs> this is a joke from the, uh, from the nowadays sc <laughs> scandals. For me, we have to change the way we, 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 we work with the policy makers. We have to present and bring to them solutions that they can touch, they can understand, and they can see the added value of bringing these solutions and making them available and making them national policy. So this is the way. Uh, and that's why I'm happy that in the cluster right now, we don't wait for the government to put the next tender, but we are somehow uh, facilitating these connections between companies, knowledge, patient groups, and uh, uh, doctors, developing solutions that are really simple at the end, but can change Some of them are everything. not so simple. Uh, yeah, for, for me, I don't think a patient have to understand everything about big data and uh, how, <laughs> how you work with that. But it has to be simple for the patient to get engaged. So it's very important to raise awareness about digital, uh, digital health solutions. Uh, from one side and from the other side to raise this awareness through real, really working solutions that they can touch. And my last question, and we have uh, less than five minutes, what are the next steps in order to boost this innovation in Bulgaria? What are the next steps and what is your promise to the ecosystem? I think uh, that the, the next steps are definitely clear since the last year. <laughs> Since the last year, after the, uh, in fact, the formation of the, of the cluster, probably the, the next steps uh, are definitely more, more clear, and uh, I think and I hope that uh, they are going to be more efficient. So, uh, because we are not anymore alone, we are together. So we are uh, really uh, we rely not only on the individual efforts. We have now the effort of people that are thinking on the same way. And uh, what Dr. Hasarjev said uh, is very important to understand that the, the digital healthcare solutions, uh, in fact, are in interest on the patient, on the doctors, on the healthcare office officers, and all the nation. And it's probably paradoxical, but uh, the institutions have to understand that the global data that we are pushing them to, uh, to implement 
will be in interest of the healthcare system as such, and also it will help to individualize the treatment for every single patient that is the most important. So the most important is to impl implement the highest possible technology in interest of the medical humanism. So this is the main goal and the main task of the healthcare professionals, the doctors, and it has to be the main goal of the institution as well. And probably with this mission, will be easier for us to convince them that we need that. Your promise? My promise is uh, to make uh, at least the, the project, the several projects that I mentioned, to make this project in, in the field of cardiovascular diseases to, to be, uh, since the next year, to be a national. So I think that we have, uh, we have capa uh, capability to do that. A good promise. You? Good. Uh, I'll be careful with the promises. <laughs> uh, this is your style with the politicians. Yes. About the politicians. No, I, no, about I, the I, promises. I, I do promise for the politicians. <laughs> this is part of it. About the politicians, they, I, I, I promise that finally they will understand that digital solutions are real, affordable, and the way for them to really overcome with the huge challenges that we have in Bulgaria, with the number of hospitalizations, with the pricing, with the, with the price of the social care, with everything. And they will understand this through at least two solutions that I commit we will have in one year time. One based on artificial intelligence, really taking care for different types of patients and one using simple technology and collecting without bothering the patients real world evidence and patient reported outcomes. So this is my promise and I swear we will have it. Uh, thank you very much. And, and what is your promise? <laughs> ah, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, my promise is to continue working for the cluster and uh, my promise is by the end of the year to have uh, some good things like a big digital health event with a lot of real solutions that we'll present in front of you and with some of the main trends in health, digital health that we will present in front of you. Uh, the other promise is to continue this policy shaping part because in, in order to, to have these digital health solutions in our hospitals for our patients and for our healthcare professionals, we need this policy shaping part. We need to involve all the key stakeholders. And the third one is through the cluster and through my current job in the company I'm working for, it's Novartis. I will continue uh, to raise awareness about the importance of digital health solutions for the patients and for the healthcare professionals and for the society. Can I add something that I missed about the policy makers? Another promise. Another promise. Actually, it's a, su a, a suggestion. Uh, sometimes they are really scared about uh, uh, digital solutions because they think it's going to cost th something without any uh, mm, uh, without knowing what the result would be. I think at the end, the role of governments should be to put a framework and create environment and leave the business and the public-private partnerships actually to develop uh, uh, the solutions that are needed based on certain principles. I don't think that any government should create uh, any solution because they always do it wrong. Like, uh, and, and we see that, they always do it wrong because they... Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so what the government should do is really... To accept. Uh, uh, no, they, they, to they have to create the frame, the framework on how the things should look like, what's the end point, and then leave the business and the stakeholders to develop those solutions so that the solutions fit the needs of the system and they really work. And last but not least, we are European Union members, and here I'm wearing my hat of uh, Secretary General of the Access Partnership in Europe. Europe is working on such kind of guidance 
on how data should be collected. And our government should understand that we cannot create the Bulgarian guidelines on that, or we cannot create Bulgarian model on this, because sooner or later, we in Europe have to have interoperability of data, and I believe it's soon. So at the end, everything is up to us, and we all are part of this ecosystem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You can see again. Thanks, Thanks very much.